are currently mobilizing for the floater hookup campaign, which is the last part of our operation. We've had to face new challenges due to the COVID-19. All the personnel had to stay in quarantine for seven days before everybody could join the vessel. We took extra safety measures on board and now we are ready to go. Being first movers, of course, there's a risk. This is an innovative project, so in, in that sense, there were always inherent risks to, to, to the deployment of this wind farm. There have been a lot of interface meeting with PPI and Vryov to find the best process to install their equipment. The passion is that we are doing something special that we are developing a technology that no one did before. That multidimensional nature of projects like this is the exciting part for me. It gives you something, takes a lot of energy from you, but I wouldn't like doing a routine thing daily. Uh, so thank you for joining this kickoff meeting. Our floater has left Ferrol and we'll get on site in the night between Saturday and Sunday. We have been working for a while on this project, so it feels good to finally get to the last part of it. The scope of work consists in the floaters hookup and the electrical cables installation. This is the moment when we get to hook up the variety of mooring equipment to the principal power floaters. Are you monitoring your position? Okay, I will. It is a little bit complex because it's about the synchronization of several vessels as well as subsea operations. To see the yellow pieces, the columns, the beams, and then the wind tower spinning is gorgeous. From three floating platforms, we have 25 megawatt. Ten years ago, nobody would believe this can happen. This project is definitely a game changer. It makes me feel very excited that we actually did it and the team has been very motivated as well by achieving this milestone.